click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of hexa fluoro ferrate three ion on basis of vbt so now let's understand this topic so friends in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of hexa fluoro ferrate ion so in that case let me talk about the electronic configuration of fe first so in that case basically we understand that is the iron has an electronic configuration that could be mentioned here as argon 18 3d6 4s2 4p0 but suppose if we have to calculate the oxidation number of iron in this complex so based on the calculation we could get that is the oxidation number of the fe in this case it has been found to be plus 3 so therefore suppose if we have to calculate the electronic configuration of fe3 plus suppose we have to write the electronic configuration of fe3 plus so that's the reason that we could write it in this form where the two electrons it will be lost from the 4s orbital and one of the electron it will be lost from the d orbital so therefore we could get the electronic configuration that would be nothing but 3d5 4s0 4p0 so suppose in that case we have to mention about the orbitals so in that case suppose if we are talking about that is d orbitals so this is the d orbital that is what i am mentioning about and this is the s orbital and this is that is 3p orbitals so here basically there is five electrons in the d orbital so therefore we have to fill it so therefore this is one two three four and five and there are empty orbitals that is what we can see over here that is for 1s 3p orbitals and there is no d orbital so in fact we could also write that is 4d 0 in that case we would have multiple empty orbitals and that is what i have mentioned here but the thing is here the ligand is a fluorine atom so in that case we also understand that is fluorine is a weak field ligand and that's the reason there will be no pairing of electrons that would take place over here and that's the reason that the empty orbitals that is what we have right now so that is left so this will take participation in the formation of the hybrid orbitals for the fe3 plus ion and this electrons they will never get paired up so therefore we need basically six empty orbitals so for that we have already six empty orbitals that is one two three four five and six so in that case we could say that is there is one s orbital that has been involved there is three p orbitals that are involved and among this five two d orbitals it will be involved so therefore the hybridization by the fe3 plus ion it would be sp3d2 and based on that the structure that is what we could get is an octahedral structure so therefore this is what the hybridization is for the central metal ion that is fe3 plus ion and based on that let us understand that is what is the structure of this complex but let us also understand that is here we have mentioned that is one two three four five six six empty orbitals and now this six empty orbitals of that is the metal obviously it will get overlap with the ligands electron and in that case suppose if i'm talking about that is f that is fluorine so each fluorine can give a lone pair of electron to the this empty orbital so therefore we have one fluorine two three four five and six so this is how basically the overlap takes place overlap of orbital takes place and that is how basically a bond that is coordination covalent bond is formed so now let us understand the structure of this molecule so the structure of this molecule is where we can find that is fe is in the center while it has been surrounded by that is six fluorine atoms as a ligand so among that four will be on the plane and one of the fluorine atom it will be above the plane and one of them it will be below the plane making the structure to be called as an octahedral structure so now let us talk about the magnetism or the magnetic property of this complex we understood that is there are multiple unpaired electrons in this one that is in d orbitals so since they have multiple unpaired electrons and that's the reason that so this is nothing but it is paramagnetic in nature and that's it so therefore this is what we have 
wanted to discuss about and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much